Hi there, I'm Stephan Holt and this is news for now for Tuesday, January the 14th. First up, we'll talk about the weather. Showers should be clearing up any minute now and tomorrow it'll be nice and dry. High temperatures topping out in the 50s. Turning now to the news, a Queens man is facing manslaughter charges after a rent dispute turned deadly. Video from the apartment in North Corona shows the whole thing. and We want to warn you, it is hard to watch. It shows 71 year old Edgar Moncayo going to pick up rent money on Sunday afternoon. The tenant, Alex Garces, answers the door. The two get into it. Police say Garces then pushed his landlord down the stairs, killing him. If convicted, Garces could face up to 25 years in prison. Nearly two dozen people were hurt in an explosive fire on the Upper East Side this morning. This video from the Citizen app shows flames shooting from the windows of that luxury high rise on York and 72nd. Investigators say the flames started in one unit on the 24th floor, but they spread quickly because the tenants left a door open while making their escape. 22 people were treated for injuries. Two are still in critical condition. In New Jersey, a man is facing arson charges after a seven alarm fire knocked out power to half the town. Police say Juan Padilla set that fire that torched at least five buildings in Bound Brook on Sunday night. No one was hurt, but more than 100 residents had to leave their homes because of the flames. More than 3,000 others lost power. Turning now to Syracuse University, where officials are pledging more than $5 million to fight prejudice on campus. Chancellor Kent Severud says they will recruit more diverse faculty members, and they're also setting up new spaces for student groups representing marginalized communities. Last semester, the university was rocked by a string of racist and anti-Semitic incidents that led to student protests. Look up, you might see a plush koala hanging from the light pole above you. An animal advocacy group has been putting them up all over the city to help the animals affected by the brush fires in Australia. If you spot one, look for a QR code so you can make a donation. All right, that's going to do it for News 4 Now. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in.